Swan Lake is one of the most beloved ballets of all time, and for good reason. The score and the story, which is a classic tale of love, betrayal, and redemption, has captivated audiences for over a century. The original production of Swan Lake was not a success. It premiered in 1877 at the Bolshoi Theater in Moscow, Russia, but was met with mixed reviews and did not become popular until several years later. There is no evidence to prove who wrote the original ballet, or where the idea for the plot came from. Russian and German folk tales have been proposed as possible sources. The music for Swan Lake was composed by Pyotr Tchaikovsky. He was commissioned to write the score by the director of the Bolshoi Theater, but Tchaikovsky was not initially excited about the project. He later said that the score was one of his least favorite compositions, which is surprising considering how beloved and iconic the composition is today. The plot of Swan Lake is divided into four acts. The ballet begins with Prince Siegfried celebrating his coming of age. His mother, the Queen, wants him to marry a princess, but Siegfried is not interested in marriage. At the end of the celebration, his mother presents him with a crossbow. Later that evening, he and his friends go hunting in the forest, where they come across a group of swans. The second act takes place at the lake. One of the swans turns out to be a beautiful princess named Odette who was cursed by an evil sorcerer, von Rothbart, to live as a swan by day, and only return to her human form at night. She tells him that the curse can only be broken if a man who has never loved before swears to love her forever. Siegfried is immediately smitten with Odette and they fall in love. But, the sorcerer, von Rothbart, is not happy with this and plans to sabotage their love. The third act takes place at Prince Siegfried's palace, where a grand ball is being held. Von Rothbart brings his daughter, Odile, who is disguised as Odette, to the ball and tricks Siegfried into declaring his love for her. Odette is heartbroken, and Siegfried realizes he has been deceived. And as the curse requires, Odette returns to her swan form. The ending of Swan Lake is one of the most iconic and tragic parts of the ballet. In the final act, Prince Siegfried races to the lake to find Odette and beg for her forgiveness. He finds her and confesses his love for her and how sorry he is for his mistake. Odette forgives him and they dance together, but as they dance, the sorcerer, von Rothbart, appears and tries to stop them. In a final confrontation, Siegfried fights von Rothbart. Despite this, the curse cannot be lifted. Realizing they can never be together in life, Odette jumps into the lake and drowns. Seeing this, and knowing that he cannot live without her, Prince Siegfried follows her in death. This act of love breaks the curse and they are united in death. The ending of the ballet is not always the same. There are different versions, in some it's a tragic ending and in others, it's a happy one, but the most popular and widely performed version is the tragic ending where both Odette and Siegfried die in the lake together. Interestingly enough, the role of Odette slash Odile, is traditionally danced by the same dancer. The lead female character is considered one of the most demanding roles in all of ballet. It requires a high level of technical skill, as well as the ability to convey a wide range of emotions through dance. The famous black swan pas de deux, where Odile dances in black attire, is considered one of the most challenging parts of the ballet. It requires the ballerina to perform a series of complex pirouettes and fouettes. Also, did you know that the famous dance of the little swans is also known as the Signet's dance? This dance is performed by a group of female dancers dressed as swans, and is considered one of the most challenging and iconic parts of the ballet. Swan Lake is one of the most popular ballets in the world and is performed by ballet companies all over the globe. It is often considered a must-see for ballet enthusiasts. The ballet has been adapted into many different forms, including films, operas, and even ice shows. Some of the most famous being, the psychological thriller film Black Swan directed by Darren Aronofsky and starring Natalie Portman, and animated fantasy film The Swan Princess directed by Richard Rich. The story of Swan Lake is a timeless classic, and the stunning choreography and beautiful music make it a truly mesmerizing experience. The story of love, betrayal, and redemption is still very relatable to audiences today. It's a tale of true love and sacrifice that will leave you feeling inspired and moved. The tragic ending is a reminder that true love knows no bounds and that even in death, true love can triumph over evil.